Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy, and this is my EDC channel. Today is a really fun episode. Um, I'm super excited to get into this. I have not got to play with it yet. And uh, this is the last remaining part of the birthday present from my wife. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. CJRB, Warncliffe. Let's get into it. Oh man, I am I am so stoked for this. So this, every, everybody's talking about it. This is supposed to be like the budget knife of the year type thing. Um, I do have the Echo, which I did not bring in here with me. Um, I'll grab that here in just a second. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and keep rolling into this because I'm just ready to see this knife. So... Um, of course, I, this is my first time, you know, kind of going to be fidgeting with this, playing with this. Um, so this is not a review. This is just going to be your first look, first impressions type thing. Uh, just get it open and take a look. And you know what? I am a huge fan. Uh, CJRB, man, this, this packaging is pretty impressive, man. This is, uh, you know, as you're tearing into this, this does not feel like a uh like a budget option or a less lesser expensive knife so here he is here is your pyrite and uh i don't know if we should do some clarification on this this does not tell me um a lot of reviewers are calling it reverse tanto worn cliff uh if you look it up on like amazon it's it shows um pyrite alt or something like that i i don't know um if there's any blade shape police in the in the comments just let me know <laughs> so it looks like my wife opted for the all black one um i'm a fan actually i don't i don't think i have any all black knives and if you saw the echo she picked up for me um that was carbon fiber that's probably why she did that because i don't have i don't have all black or carbon fiber so um weight's not bad let's uh we'll get a open and close length so here we go close length is what does that say i don't know i can't see uh four and a quarter we'll just go ahead and do the weight while it's still closed i'm i'm itching to get this thing flicked open but um i'm kind of procrastinating 3.7 ounces so not a bad size. All right. I'm just going to. Oh, I got a little bit of lock stick. Yeah. See that? So um, I have I have seen that people say this thing has a little bit of a break in period. Yeah. So let's um, let's see here. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, looks like we've got oil on the pivot. It probably just needs to break in, would be my guess. So um, let's get a open weight or open weight. <laughs> open length is right about seven and a half. And how's the edge? You can see I got kind of a uh, semi mirror polish on the edge, so the edge is nice. The all black is kind of nice too. So we can reverse flick. Can I? I have a, such a hard time with. Yeah, <laughs> this thing is sticking. It's all right. There, Jesus. Um, Got to give it a little bit of rest. And, uh, you know, it feels on. Honestly, it feels pretty much like the Echo without a front flipper. <laughs> Uh, definitely reverse flicks very easy. Um, you can slow roll. There you go. Yeah, and I can feel it. I can feel it loosening up the more I play with it. So definitely just yeah. See here's our here's our action. Yeah. So um, let me grab the. Oh, see that one. That so now it might be breaking in. Um, let me go grab the uh, the echo real fast, and we'll we'll take a look at the two. So. 
One second. Be right back. All right. I got the echo. And just to clear my name, echo, easy to thumb flick. <laughs> and they have like, they have like the same hole. Yeah. So that this is, this guy's got a little bit of lock stick out of the box. Um, and that's what I was talking about with the echo. Like the echo did a little bit, but now it's everything. It just drops shut. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's got that nice, that nice, uh, button lock action. So here we go. Here is the echo and the new pyrite. Um, Echo looks a little bit bigger. We're, we're not going to go in super crazy on the differences between these. That's another video. So for this video, I just, you know, now that I've got them both, we just had to look at the difference between the two. So there you go. We just, I just needed to see it. Needed them side by side. They look pretty, 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 pretty dead on. Pretty close. Um, I'm hoping the pyrite action kind of kind of cleans up because if you can, and it, you know, I've had this I've had this knife since the fourth. It's it's seen some pocket time, so definitely fidget time. I've definitely broken in, so we're gonna hope that the little pyrite does the same thing. Yeah, it's stick. Uh, let's hit it with. Where's my, hold on, idea. All right, I already, uh, I can see some oil on there, but uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna help him out. Hit him with a little bit of KPL, just original weight. Just a little, cause I can see it's already got oil down there. At least on the actual pivot, so I don't know. Okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Whoa, nutty. All right. So, just, just a tad. Just a tad. And I think, I think it's just going to take some time. <laughs> Hopefully. I can feel, I can feel some of it working itself out. Even, oh, sometimes that reverse flick's kind of rough. But see, it's kind of, it's, it's getting there. It just, it just needs some love. So, um, how about ride height? Let's see here. Let's see what we got. So in a pocket, this has a ultra deep carry clip. And this is going to be right about what you see. There we go. If I can get it to the edge. There you go. That's, uh, that's your carry profile. Well, pocket carry profile, you know, just in case. And, uh, as far as next to, there you go. Next to the echo. Sorry. I realized I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know what? It, it really isn't a bad size. Um, I don't really have any knives out here. I, I wasn't, wasn't really prepared. It's kind of becoming a normal thing. Uh, there is the Kubikoas words, mm, Kubikoas, and I. I've got a Tucson here. Here's the Tucson 366. It's kind of a bigger knife, um, but you know, just this is like a standard EDC size knife, and as long as this, you know, as long as it just breaks in nice. Um, the action feels okay. The detent feels a little, the detent feels a little, uh, a little tight. I like to reverse flick because I feel like I flick the hardest when I reverse flick. Uh, can I, no, not really. Not, yeah, see, it, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And now I'm messing up with this one. No, not, not really. So I'm doing the same thing I'm doing here, just slight pressure down, flicking out, and if I do that on this, well, of course, 
Of course, I'm going to start flicking it now, but mm, it definitely, you can, it's tight, man. It's tight. If that gives you any idea, if we go like this, I can't even, I can't even do that. <laughs> Here you go. There. If we do that with him. There. Just, it, it's. I think I think I was watching um, an episode of one of Duty's Daggers videos, and when he did his his uh, Warney Pyrite, I'm pretty sure his had some lockstick too out of the box. I I I can't remember though. I th I think that's the scenario. Um, all right. So enough of that. Well, this isn't the review, so we'll we'll play with it. I'll keep it in my pocket, and then um, we'll see if it uh if it lightens up, and we'll report back. So we'll just go over the knife just a little bit here. It looks like we have some perfect centering going on. Uh, this is righty lefty, uh, tip up only. So keep that in mind. You do have your thumb hole here. You saw me reverse flick and thumb flick. We have a button lock and a couple standoffs here on the back. There we go. And that one looks far enough away-ish. Yeah, so you could lanyard if you wanted to. Here's our standoff and our pivot. And I don't know if I can catch this. Let's see here. Man, where's... <sighs> I was so excited to get this thing open that I didn't prepare for it. That's my fault. So here is the button lock. See here whenever I press it, we can see how this thing actuates. There you go. And lock up. Solid, no side to side. And here we go. A little bit of light. And when we disengage. Focus, yeah, there you go. Get out of my way. Okay. Uh, how's the jimping? So it's got that little, that little subtle jimping like the echo does, but I, I like, I like that it's not recessed in between the liners. Um, the echo is a little rough when it's in between the liners. Sometimes you can feel it. Sometimes you can't. Depends on how hard you press. If you can get the meat of your, you know, thumb in between the liners, then you can feel it. Um, everything else feels pretty okay. Uh, let's see how, will it cut, will it cut, I'm sure it will, yeah, that's about what I expected, so, yeah, getting those little, those little curly cues, yeah, so this thing, this thing definitely is sharp out of the box. There you go. See me shaving off little pieces of piper. There you go. So just to give you an idea, yeah, yeah, she's sharp. As I mess up a cut, there you go. A little bit of a curvy shot. Um, so I mean, it passed the paper test. So that means it's good to buy, right? Not really. I say that joke, but. Uh, I always just do a paper test just to test the uh, the edge out of the box. That's that's about all. I have to put the paper in the trash can right now because if I don't do it right now, it won't get done. I know myself. <laughs> so um, as far as I know, this thing has only a couple variants. God, that detent! I'm gonna cut the shit out of my hand. Um, a couple variants right now. Uh, as far as I know, just this black guy right here. And it does come with, or it does also come in a um, full stainless. Uh, I know there's a couple little bit more premium variations coming up pretty soon from some of the uh, some of the other online retailers. And I'm uh, I can't I can't remember if it was White Mountain or Smoky Mountain knives. Um, somebody is getting a a frag pattern of this. 
Um, that would be that'll be interesting because the frag pattern will be nice. Having a little bit more just texture here on these scales would be pretty beneficial. Actually, these things are pretty slick, and you can see the action on this is already starting to you know open up just a little. Um, so so far, that's my only complaint is mine's feeling a little sticky. It might just need to be taken down and done a little bit of cleaning, uh, which I will do, believe me. Uh, if we look on the inside liners here, we do got some milling. Actually, a generous amount of milling, which is nice because this is all steel construction. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> but not not too bad. So what was our what was our blade length? Um I don't even I don't even necessarily remember. Uh we have three what two and is that two and a quarter inches on the cutting edge mm, yeah about two about two and three quarters cutting edge and it was what three ounces so it's a a little below the uh one inch of cutting edge per ounce a little doesn't quite hit the uh the formula but uh you know actually it feels it feels nice like the overall construction feels nice we have a little bit of a ramp here for your thumb so that contour is nice there aside from that it's definitely got like that paramilitary 2 feel where it's kind of blocky and um you do have a little bit of a choke up spot um i wear an extra large in gloves so i have pretty big paws I don't know if I would use, well, no, I probably wouldn't. I can just feel the end of that bevel, that cutting edge right there. Ooh, maybe <laughs> it would depend on what I'm doing, but, uh, I could, I could definitely choke up if I had to, I would want to pull my finger down while I'm choking up though, instead of just pushing against the blade just to be, you know, safe. Uh, if you don't choke up and you just use that as a sharpening choil, you can probably sharpen this knife for the rest of your life. <laughs> the sharpening choil is very generous. Um, uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So far, I've been carrying this guy, enjoying it a lot, and it's been a lot of fun. So it's definitely a great knife. The front flipper is the front flipper on this is pretty epic. Um, you can pretty much maneuver this knife any way you want to and that's that's what's been a lot of fun so i'm hoping this will kind of work itself out work itself out so i can just fidget it and play with it still a little tough but it's getting there it's getting there slowly <laughs> very very slowly <laughs> But um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. This was just, like I said, the first look unboxing. Expect some shorts and some photos and some Instagram stuff and, you know, all that good stuff leading up to the review video. Uh, if you have any questions about this guy or anything like that, just drop, you know, drop a comment down below. I will post some links to where I found this. Um, I found it on Amazon. My wife ordered it for me. I, I keep a book where I write down pretty much everything I want to buy. And she went through the book <laughs> and, uh, she, this is, this is the stuff that she picked out because I had them wrote down as pairs. So, uh, it kind of a, kind of a cool thing that she did. And I, th I think it's pretty interesting. Um, I don't know. I think she just bought this guy because of the name. <laughs> this is the stabby labs fat PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> so, I think uh, that was the that was the third thing that she got me for the birthday. So uh, yeah, those are the three presents from the wife, and uh, I'm super excited. All of this stuff's gonna get some pocket time, so we can do some full reviews, and then we'll meet back here, like normal. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I post pretty much every day for the past few months every day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks again. Catch you in the next one.